Permit me to ask two important, urgent questions to one to the right honourable Prime Minister and Leader of Government District, and two, second one to the Minister of Treasury or Finance, Honourable Ibumu Sini. Question one, the President intimated when he was briefed by our envoy, Ambassador... I, 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 I just want to ask, are you hearing the Honourable Member there? I you think we me? need to adjust the... Can you hear me now? The, the system. Can you? Can you hear me now? My mask is what? Okay. No, now you can. Okay. Okay. Honorable Speaker. Yes. Today is my birthday. Oh, 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 oh. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Before you say anything, yes. we, we, I'm trying, but yeah. I think my mask is too we tight. Co Come collect, co we collectively as members of this house extend warmest congratulations, happy birthday, and I'm purple, good health. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, I rise to ask this question to elucidate government position. We were told that the Prime Minister would brief the National Assembly on the status of the negotiations between the Namibian government and the German government over the genocide issue. And I would ask the Right Honorable Prime Minister, where are we on this matter, or will she choose another date to give us information because it's quite very mm -hmm. relevant urgent and our people are earnestly waiting as to the course of the negotiations. That's the one question. Question number one. Question number two mm -hmm. would go to the Minister of Finance. We were informed by print and electronic media throughout the country that the Minister, through his industry and the government industry, have decided to sell some fishing stock that was in the ownership of government to an open bidding option process. May the minister, in the quest for transparency, inform this very important August chamber as to who are the people that bidded for our fish, what was offered, and where are we in terms of the whole option? Because what we are hearing is that at one point we got some tenderers or bidders at one that have shown interest in the industry, but we don't know who are these companies. May the minister explain and elucidate in making sure that we remain Thank transparent you. on the resources Thank you. of our country. Thank, Thank you. you. First question is directed to the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Prime Minister. To wish you, Honourable Venani, a very happy birthday, and uh, to wish him everything of the best. Uh, for the future, except, of course, the victory of PDM in the election. That one we wish for sure. Uh, having said that, I, I wish to acknowledge that the issue that the Honorable Member queried is important, and indeed, yes, the President did indicate that I would provide a briefing to Parliament on where we are with the negotiations, and I intend to do that on another day with a, a, a properly organized session. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sure that... Uh, Honorable Vinani, that's quite in order. Next, second question is directed to Minister of Finance. Mr. Shemi. <coughs> thank, thank you very much, um, Mr. Speaker. It, is, me, the, is the system on? Yes. I believe okay. so. Okay. <coughs> Thank you very much, Honourable Speaker. And uh, let me also um, join the Right Honourable Prime Minister here to wish my brother Venani um, a happy birthday, good health, and um, so that he can achieve whatever he needs to achieve in life, with an exception of what. Uh, <laughs> 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 
Thank you. Let's move on. Next on my list is the Honorable Jan van Weyck. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I hereby give notice that on Thursday, the 17th of September. Oh, but that's a question. Yes, yes, please. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> I shall ask the Minister of Works and Transport, Honorable Dorma Torwa, the following. Honorable Minister, it has been reported in the local print media. The construction work on the Aminus Aranos Road, which is phase, phase 8, was interrupted due to unknown reason. A high level meeting was convened in Hobarbas on the 2nd of September in an attempt to address the matter. I shall therefore ask the following Could the Honorable Minister enlighten this August House as to why construction work was interrupted? Number two, could the Honourable Minister brief this assembly and the inhabitants of Omayeke and Hardab regions in particular <coughs> about the outcome of the, of the meeting of the 2nd of September and also give us a way forward. Honourable Speaker, I will give notice that on the same day I shall ask the Honourable Minister of Urban and Rural Development the following. Honourable Minister, you recently, on the advice of the Okahanja Town Council, opted to evict about 2,000 people in informal settlements in Okahanja from land they occupied for a reasonable time. Your actions and that of the Okahanja Town Council in this difficult time are inhumane and uncalled for. It was reported that only 320 of those evicted would receive plots. I shall therefore ask the following. Could you explain to the nation and those in informal settlements in the country, and Okahanya in particular, as to why government has opted to discriminate against them on the ground of their social status? Number two, would you like to inform this August House as to where the 1,700 people evicted will be accommodated and under what conditions? Number three, since local authorities across the country have failed to address the issue of affordable land in urban areas, what advice and measures would you personally recommend to government in order to address the mushrooming of informal settlements in this country? I shall move on to the speaker. Thank you. Next on my list, the Honourable Jennifer Van de Heerer. Um, oh, okay, thank you. Uh, the Honourable Binda, is she in? Oh, 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 oh. You Honourable have the floor. Mar it's Martin. Yes. Uh, Honourable Speaker, I have uh, two oral questions. One uh, is to the Honourable Speaker, just for housekeeping and... Can I, can I hear you? Yeah, uh, one perhaps is also in connection with the training we were going through here. Yeah? Uh, I, I took notice that uh, there are communications from Secretariat mm. to Member of Parliament, mm. but I still also recognize that there are other members who are still not getting these communications. Mm. Say help is something that needs to be worked out. I know emails are sent, SMSs and so mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Like even today I mm -hmm. noticed that there are members who have not even heard anything yeah. about this training. Yeah. So perhaps 
They speak Amal, uh, do something no, like that. I think I can just reassure you that we, 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 we will look into that. Uh, we have to make sure that we improve upon that in terms of communication from the Secretariat. But just let me assure you that Thank that's you. something very important. I take note of that. Question goes to the Honourable Minister of Justice. Uh, register, supplemental registration of voters commenced yesterday, and as we are talking up to the 12 uh, municipal areas, such as Windu, Riobos, and uh, Okahanja, are uh, still under restriction to travel. Now, my concern is before restrictions commence, the way uh, residents of other constituents and towns and so on that were caught up in these uh, municipal, uh, municipal, uh, municipal areas. And uh, the registration of voters uh, require or give right to any individual to register in uh, his area where he lives. Now, there were some members of the public who were just for visit in this restricted area. And the registration of voters is ending on Tuesday. Now, my question, are the rights of these members of the public not maybe being violated, or will they be given chance to register later on another time when the restriction is over? Especially people who even who live uh, in Bindu or uh, Kahanja, but we're in other towns. We have taken note. Thank you. Thank you. No, it's just as... Thank, thank you. Mm. Honorable Minister, of justice. Would you like to briefly co comment on that? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Speaker, and thank you very much for the question. Uh, happy birthday, Honorable Venani. Uh, just to, to make two comments, I, I cannot comment on the details of what has transpired, but under the current regulations, which expires on the 12th of September, Honorable Speaker, there is provision made for two things. One, is when a, a particular uh, person uh, is returning to their uh, normal residence, they should be allowed. So I don't know whether the people have gone to the station commander to, to get uh, permission to travel or return, but also any other reason, uh, such as, I'm guessing, um, registration for uh, supple the supplementary registration they should be allowed, but I would rather um, establish the, the facts and maybe also find out what the arrangements are and provide proper feedback tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. We'll take a note of that. Uh, that was all you want? Is it linked to that? Yes, I could. Yes, I have given witness because I encountered families that are supposed to travel back to Windu because mm. their kids are starting schools or some who have to travel because the kids are starting schools, mm. but were uh, uh, denied uh, permit to travel. So I think that is where the hiccup is. Okay, okay. I'm sure the minister have taken no note of that. Let's move on. Um, notices or motions. Messages from the head of state. Oh, yes. Minister Agriculture. Yes. 